Hello and welcome to Penguin TV. It is recorded by George Eflis, a.k.a. Wiffy Penguin, and you can follow me on Twitter at Wiffy Penguin. Penguin TV is hosted by PureMTGO.com and sponsored by MTGOTraders.com. Get an 8% discount off all orders over $50 when paying with PayPal or credit card. And you can check out KeepYourGames.com and get an extra 20% off when trading paper for digital. Enjoy the videos. Hey everybody, um, welcome to an Innistrad sealed deck build. Um, I'm doing this right after the article that I submitted for last week, talking about how I've done seven Innistrad release seals, and this is the eighth, so basically what I like to do first is check out and see what kind of goodies I open by Rarity Sort. Uh, Manor Gargoyle seems pretty good. Indestructible is good in this block since there's no infect. I hate this card, Rune Chanter's Pike. Um, I don't ever play it when I get it. Moreland Haunt, this is the first time I've had this. And if I can get White Blue going, that'll be awesome. Cackling Counterpart is a pretty good, uh, blue card. Instant Clone, times two if you get up to seven. This card I played with, and it was amazing. I would mill myself and then just play all of my creatures anyway. It was so good. Um, I don't know how good this will be in sealed. It might be great in draft or constructed, but mm, I don't know about sealed. And then Ludwig's Test Subject is awesome. So we've got two good blue cards. Three, really. And then uh, Moreland Haunt makes me feel good about blue. So, what I like to do is I like to go by color and just pull out the cards that are playable. Thrabbing Pure Blood isn't going to get it. Thrabbing Sentry will. Uh, Smite the Monstrous is pretty good. Not a fan of Rally the Present, Peasants or Ghostly Possession. Elder Cather, I like to start. Um, Spare from Evil. Ooh, two Bonds of Faith. We probably won't play two Spare from Evils. So white has some pretty good cards. And then we'll go over to blue. We've got back, we've got scab, moon heron, makeshift mauler, cackling counterpart dissipate. Doesn't look, oh, we hit a forbidden alchemy. That's great. We need a card like that if we want to play these blue spells. Um, Silent Departure is pretty amazing. Dream Twist is pretty good. I like the Ludwig. Oh, we've got an armored scab too. So yeah, looks like we're going to get to play my favorite color combination, white and blue, right off the bat. Uh, more Crook Banshee is not as good as you want it to be. Mona the Unhallowed is pretty awesome. Um, Tribute to Hunger is a pretty good removal spell since we don't have uh, any claustrophobias. We do have two Bonds of Faith, though, which kind of interfere with it. Um, Walking Corpse is a fine guy if we need a 2-drop. Screeching Bat is pretty good. 2-2 two -two that turns into a 5-5 five -five seems, seems alright. What is Disciple? This we might want to play for our scab guys. Check out Red. Uh, Rolling Timber. Kessig Wolf is pretty good. A 3-mana 5-5 five -five can't be bad. Uh, Brimstone Volley. Double Geist Flame. So yeah, red it looks a little anemic. Green has Spider Spawning, Grizzled Outcast, Lumberknot, Grasp, Spirit, uh, Mulch if we wanted to play it with blue. Ambush Viper is a pretty good card. I like, I like him. Uh, Prey Upon, and then two Avacyn's Pilgrim. Manor Gargoyle. Two Galvanic Juggernauts seem pretty good. I don't know. We might want to definitely play Disciple then. Trepanation Blade is a good card. I don't know if we'll be able to play it in the deck we're building, but it is a great card. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of humans for Butcher's Cleaver. And all these other cards seem poor. And then there's Moreland Haunt. So we definitely want to try and play White Blue. 
red. We're not going to play red for these two creatures. It's possible that we splash red instead of black, but we'll have to look and see how our deck is looking up. Green. <coughs> what do we have for green? Not a whole lot, honestly, so we're going to just cut green all together. And we've got 36, 35 to play with. So, all right, let's see here. We'll look back at white and see if there's anything that we might possibly want. Spare from Evil, the second one, is something we might want. We might not play the first, though. Uh, we don't want Moment of Heroism. We might want Feeling of Dread. And I don't see us playing with pure bloods. So let's let's look at our what we're running with. Or uh, let's look at uh, black versus red. So we have 18 guys. We're probably going to have to cut that down to about 14 or 13. Um... A walking corpse seems pretty bad, so we'll cut him. But then these black cards all seem better than these red cards, with the exception of Tribute for Hunger, or Tribute to Hunger. So I think we'll, we'll cut red. And it looks like we might want to cut Trepanation Blade. Our deck isn't going to be casting it. So now, what I like to do, after I've gotten the basic shell, is divide by spell type versus creatures in the converted mana cost slot. Alright, so this is our deck, and it is way too big. We need to make some cuts. So what are some cards that we feel like we can cut right off the bat? Um, I feel like these two cards are cards that we could cut right off the bat. Um, Elder Cather feels like a card that can come out. Village Bellringer feels like a card that can come out. Alright, so that would leave us with 26. We still need to cut three cards. Alright, let's look and see what we're going to be doing with our mana, see if Dissipate makes sense. On turn one, Dream Twist maybe. Turn three, we're going to be doing Tribute to hun Hunger. We've got a lot of four drops. Yeah, I don't... I don't think Dissipate's the card we want it to be in this deck. Um, so, Makeshift Mauler. All right, what are we, what are we going to cut? Two more cards. Well, since we don't have a whole lot of ways to kill things, let's cut one Juggernaut. And... Ah, oh, 
man, this tribute to hunger. That would leave us with one, two, three removals. Yeah, I guess more corrupt banshee is better than tribute to hunger. And I want all of these other cards in here. So we will cut the tribute. And then we're going to jam in this Moreland Haunt. We also, we also want to try and have a little bit more creatures uh, for when we're milling so that we can hit with our Mauler and Goliath. So yeah, this this looks pretty good. Uh, we'll also throw in the Shimmer and Grotto since we're splashing three colors. And then let's see what it has to say for us in the auto. Alright, let's look. We've got lots of blue. But they're mostly single. Most of our white single. Actually, all of our white is single. And our black has two doubles, three doubles. So, alright. Let's do that. That way we have seven sources of blue and five sources of black or uh, white and then six sources of black and we will submit so uh, some of these other cards that are in here that we're not playing let's let's look at them um, butcher's cleaver is an alright card if you have um, a pretty aggressive deck, and if you have humans to make the lifelink happen, lifelink is no joke. A lot of these black cards are just terrible. Um, blue, we played a lot of the blue. Blue has a lot of quality cards in it. <coughs> there was a... Uh, let's see... What kind of a human theme we could have done? What do we have in the main deck? Two, three, four, five, and then green we had a uh, six, seven, only eight humans. So, yeah, those Butcher's Cleavers probably wouldn't have worked too well in a green-white build. For our sideboard options, we do have a lot of sideboard options. Um, against a deck that is heavy with evil things, I can spare myself uh, some time and attack for the win or get a one-sided fog, which seems way more important. So if I go up against like a deck full of werewolves, I might want the spare from evil. Or vampires, for that matter. Um, if there's some kind of crazy bomb, ghostly possession will help. Especially if it's a human crazy bomb, and our uh, bonds of faith can't hit it. Blue? We can sideboard in a dissipate, versus a game-winning... Uh, Planeswalker or flashback spell like uh, the zombie spell that gives you 13 thir uh, two, 2 guys. Um, I can't remember the name of it. And then for black, we've got the Tribute to Hunger, I guess. I guess we could play that. Um, walking Corpse if we need a quick 2 drop against uh, a bunch of vampires so that we don't let them flip on us. Brain Weevil. Brain Weevil could be pretty good in a heavy control matchup. <coughs> just, <coughs> just play him out there and eat away their hand. As for that, uh, as for anything else, I think that's that's about it. If we needed to sideboard into a whole different deck, 
I don't think we could do it. I think that this is the best build. It's possible that there's a red-green aggro deck in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. No, there's no there's no red green deck in there. It would have to be a three color deck. But uh that's it and I'll see you guys in round one.